Hello everybody, Jackson here, and today I'd like to ask an important question, because I think as gamers, we've, we've forgotten something when it comes to video games. And so the question I'd like to ask is, in, when it comes to loot in video games, is it better that the loot is there to serve the game, or is it better that the game is there to serve the loot? Now, I don't know if that makes sense, so let me elaborate a little bit. That's the question I like to ask in this video. It's a, it's a kind of a trail I was going on while I was mindlessly farming Marvel heroes because that's what it is. It's a mar, it's like Diablo three, right? Not like Diablo two, but like Diablo three, where it's just like you get to the end, guess what you're doing? You're fucking killing shit in a massive amount, really fast to see what kind of loot you can get, right? It's a loot farm, with so much unnecessary loot. I always feel like there's just, it's colors and loot for the sake of seeing colors and for the sake of seeing loot. And that's a, the thing about the Taken King, like, a lot of people were like, you, you need to come try it, you know, they really fixed it. A lot of my buddies and stuff, and I was like, I don't know, man, I don't know. I don't know, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna give them 40 more dollars, like, you know what I mean? And then my good buddy Jeff picked me up a copy for Christmas, I gave it a playthrough, and the thing that I felt about it when I hit the Taken King stuff and I was playing through those missions and like I was trying to play through it organically like I wasn't going to use the boost that they gave me. But as I was playing through it and I was like seeing what was happening I was like man this is fucking hacky. This feels like Neverwinter. This feels like fucking so many MMOs that I've played that like I feel like Destiny really only innovated in one way. Is it took hacky MMO mechanics and added them to a superior, like, supremely good gameplay. Like, I'm not gonna argue that Destiny doesn't have good gameplay. Like, the fucking act, it's just, I'm not gonna argue with that. I never have, all right? It's fucking smooth, it's fun, the fucking jumping is supreme, like, superior to almost any other jumping in a game. It's, like, one of my favorites. But that said, all these mechanics, and I was, like, playing through it, and I'm like, they didn't fix this. And then I get to the Rise of Iron stuff after I use the boost because f fuck this. It's old, outdated, you know, lame content, right? Even though I haven't played it yet, like, that's just how I feel about it because that's how, what I understand. I understand that I want to hit a maximum light levels so I can do raids and shit and endgame activities with my buddies. And I know that the only way to do that is to get through this bullshit as quick as possible. And it's like I'm playing Diablo 3 all over again, if that makes sense. Right? So I'm playing Diablo 3. Do I give a shit about the story? Nah. I'm turning in quests to get the XP to level the character so I get to max level so I can farm the end game so I can get the legendary gear that, you know, plays the class that I want to play the way I want to play them. Blah, blah, blah. So I can do max amount of DPS so I can turn up the difficulty on Torment. Blah, blah, blah. Right? That's why I stopped playing Diablo. You know? That's why I'm done playing Marvel Heroes. Like, I just, you know, I played it for, I don't even know how many hours, but I just, it, enough that at this point I'm like, cashed on it. I'm like, eh, what's the fucking point? You know, colors for colors sake. And that's exactly what the des the Taken King was, right? They didn't fix the loot. All they did was to add another hacky MMO mechanic, which is just give them more loot. And they didn't even do that properly because people were running out of dismantling materials, right? And I mean, half the shit that drops, they're literally just colors, because <laughs> you pick them up and they're upgrade mats, right? So they turn into whatever that color is, you know what I mean? Gray, basic, whatever the fuck. <sighs> but the point I'm trying to make here is even when you get to the Rise of Iron, it's just another hacky MMO fucking counterpart, right? It's like, they literally have this in so many MMOs that I've played is like this endgame activity where you get like an item and you put it I can't remember what it's called in Fire Rise of Iron the forge or some bullshit Archon's forge maybe I played it one night with my buddies it was pretty fun because I was playing it with my buddies right like if I hadn't been playing with them I, I, I played it by myself once and I made it through like one of those things and I was like this is so hacky so you, you, you just you farm the thing so you can put it in the thing so you can do another thing so you can farm the thing and it's just like, you know, they, in the Marvel Heroes it's a danger room, you know what I mean? And it's just, in Neverwinter it's the fucking event like dungeons where you have to fucking farm for the thing to get the access to the thing and then you run it and then you gotta do it again to get the thing so you can, it's just, uh, it's just so hacky. And the reason for that is because I think Destiny is a surefire case of a game prioritizing the game to serve the loot and not the loot to serve the game. 
all right because loot used to matter okay and I, you know, I'm looking at Diablo 3, I'm looking at Marvel Heroes, I'm looking at so many loot farmers that just mean shit. And I'm looking at you, Borderlands 3, and I'm praying Gearbox doesn't do it, but I'm expecting it. I'm just expecting it. Because, you know, we, 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 when Destiny came along, we made a decision as a community of gamers, okay? Now, I know a lot of us didn't, you know, like, didn't make the decision. There were some that didn't play the game, some that did play the game, but then stopped playing the game. Some people, like, the thing is, is this, we all, we all gave in to this monster, all right? We all did, okay? And we turned a excellent shooter with hacky, hacky, MMO, free-to-play mechanics that are, that are there for a reason in these free-to-play games. These hacky mechanics, these low inventory space. These, you know, like, oh my god. They're there for a reason. Okay? They're there to serve the purpose of fucking, fun, like, convincing the buyer and incentivizing the player into purchasing into these microtransactions, right? It's forgivable and easy to look past in a free-to-play game because I just, like, I always have my heart in check and I never get invested to the point where I'm like, I'm gonna spend money on this motherfucker. And if I do spend money on a free-to-play game, I ensure that it's no more than, the, like, a $60 price. I never have spent more than $60 on a single free-to-play game. Alright, I'm frugal, alright? And there's there's a reason for that. Because <laughs> I, I, I just, I feel like... It's important not to get invested in things that are always going to be trying to get me to give them more money. You know what I mean? So, like, Neverwinter, I, I really enjoyed the world. I'm a huge fucking Dungeons & Dragons guy. Liked it fucking... You know, I was enjoying my time playing a drow fucking rogue. That is awesome to me, to be able to do that in an MMO. Ever since I played WoW, like, I wanted that, right? So, I give them 40 bucks, get them out, make it easier on myself, right? For the, you know, and I got over fucking probably 200 hours in that game, right? And then I just stopped, like, whatever. I'd done the grind. I'm not doing it anymore. It's just, it's not, it's not cool anymore. And I check out, right? That's what Destiny is. <laughs> but the thing about it is, is they're going to make you pay $60, right? For the base version. I mean, they already did. Like, they made us pay $60 for the base version, $30 season pass, or like, I, I don't even, I think it was 20 a piece, so you could have paid 40 if you bought them separately one at a time, you know what I mean? So, the, you know, up to that, and then on the Taking King, they nerf everybody, they take away half the activities, they basically say, look, you can have fun playing against fucking level 2 fucking enemies and strikes, right? Or you can give us $40 and fucking run the endgame content again with your friends. Because we're completely removing this endgame content, we're not having a locked light level activity set list for people who own the base edition of the game no fuck those people they managed this exactly like a free-to-play game with fucking just like updates and balances and problems and oh look at these patch notes guardians they treat it like a free-to-play game they fucking charged us out the ass for it and it's 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 the perfect example of the loot not being there to serve the game all right this isn't like i can't even think of it because we shadow warrior 2 right this isn't like shadow warrior 2 where the loot is there to enhance the game the loot is there to serve the game the fucking awesome first person shooting and melee that's like probably the best and most fluid i've ever personally played the fucking awesome like mobs and shit that are take inspiration from Diablo but are somehow better because you just like there's so many different ins and outs to these weapons and things you can do and weapons you can try and things you can play in different ways that the build your character it's multiplayer up the four man co-op right it's fucking forty dollars asking price I got it on 22 because they had a fucking devolver had a fucking sale on Steam my brother picked it up for me. 22 bucks. Alright? For a game that does what Destiny... <laughs> I don't know. Destiny has the raids. That's arguably the only thing that I could say Destiny has that it kind of stands above. And But I'm telling you, like, this is, this is the problem, though. is because of this success, because of the hype machine with this fucking goddamn game, the marketing involved all right this game is gonna do 
massive fucking business all right so as a community when we hear people like phil spencer to say that he's played what 700 plus hours but i don't know 300 i don't know i'm pretty sure he was lying about it and that dude looks more stoned than i do <laughs> that's the first thing i thought when i saw that guy on stage i'm like that dude's fucking high <laughs> Oh god. Anyway, moving past that wild tangent, I'm saying like when he's saying he's played that many hours into this game and he says that it's important to understand that the video games they've enhanced and they're no longer just a single day one purchase, but now they're a service. Right? That needs to ring bells in a lot of people's heads. Okay? Because we need to look at what Destiny has done. All right? It is a fucking excellent shooter with the most hackiest hackiest of loot systems the most hackiest hackiest of grind systems and some of the best competitive multiplayer that you can get i never really played the multiplayer a whole ton or i mean the crucible i didn't really play it a whole ton i did it when i had to for exotic quests and things i wasn't a huge guy so i always forget to mention it all right but i under that that shit is fun and if I was better at it, and I could have competed with some of those people, but I felt like a lot of people already had a jump on it. They were, you know, people who had played Halo and stuff, I'm sure it felt really familiar to them. And I I, I would I would definitely, like, 9 out of 10 <laughs> times get my ass kicked in the Crucible. So I don't think to mention it. But yeah, that's an excellent point. But still, like, it's there to serve the loot, right? No. It's there to serve the RNG to feed the addiction so that you want more so that you'll buy the sterling silver treasure boxes when they tell you that they're going to give you free content and then still take away your content and charge you more money to get it back all right this is this is the thing that's unacceptable all right that destiny did and we need to remember moving forward into destiny 2 this is what they did all right a free-to-play game would give you all of that content for free because the activities provided in said content would always be incentivizing the player to purchase more microtransactions. Destiny charges you $40 for that content that all the free content only serves to incentivize the gamer to spend more money on microtransactions. If you spent up to $60 before that, or no, $90 before that, and a possible, you know, $100 before that, you would be only able to play the base content that you owned at low light level, meaning no challenge, like no difficulty, boring, boring, yawn, yawn shit, all right, yawn shit. They did not, they took away your light level, and then they take strikes from that content, and they make it the fucking uh, weekly nightfall, and you can't play it. So that's content you can't play. In the Crucible, they make playlists that you cannot play anymore. And you have one playlist and it's not, there's barely anybody on it. You can do custom get matches with friends or whatever. But you can't fucking, you can't play end game like <laughs> playlists with people. They separate the player base until they fucking cough up more dough. Right? This is what Destiny does. It is a game that is hacky and overreaches into your fucking back pocket and takes the money out for you. Alright? It's not worth it. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve the praise that they've gotten for it. Because they don't innovate. They copy. They're doing tried and true things and I wonder why. Because they have Blizzard devs over there helping them fix it. Right? Right? And in Diablo 3, you know, I'm not saying it wasn't fun to play it, man. But if Diablo 3 kept asking me to pay him fucking, you know, 40, 50, 20 dollars, and if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to play the game anymore. Fuck that game. Because that's what it does. And it has a hacky, it's less fucking inspired than that. Like, the fucking gear in Diablo is uncomparable to the gear in Destiny. It's stupid. Right? It's just dumb. Because they're lazy. You know? 
They don't want to have like, oh, well, let's go take the time to have there be no restriction for anything you can equip in PvE, but have that removed when you queue for PvP. So you have to be outfitted to, you know, because they're lazy and they're uninspired and they're just copying things and doing everything the easy way. You know what I mean? Like if they had to do work, then they'd have to fucking pay people to do work, and then they couldn't fucking kick up fucking however much to fucking CEOs and fucking people like Luke Smith for their fucking cheeseburgers. Right? But that's the question I trailed into, and I started to trail into it, and I was thinking about Destiny 2 because I see a lot of smart people talking about hype for this game. I see a lot of smart people who are normally fucking dead pan on the fucking right track. Feeling a lot of hype for this game. Do we as gamers have that short of a memory? Do we as gamers have that little empathy for our fellow fucking players in our community that we don't give a fuck? If they tell a huge chunk of them, fuck you, you don't even get to finish the game unless you cough up $400 for a fucking new system and fucking another 60 to buy the game again. And then 40 more after that for the Rise of Iron. Or wait, no, it was the Rise of Iron that they cut people off, man. I forget all the bullshit moves. There's so goddamn many they get fucking muddled in my head and blend into one goddamn constant fuck around. And I can't for the life of me understand why I see smart people, intelligent gamers, showing hype for this game. Don't do it, guys. Don't do it. Let's, 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 as a community, decide right now that we don't want games to be a service. We want the service to be completed games. Alright? We want the service to be good, new, innovative fucking things. Let's, let's not, let's not just fucking copy hacky fucking, you know, free to play models because they make a shit ton of money off the whales. All right, let's not do that and then decide that we can charge $60 for it and then have a season pass and then go free to play like fucking Battleborn did. All right, let's not, let's not reward those games. We didn't reward Battleborn for that, and I'm proud of that. Even people who had misguided fucking misguided intentions and stupid ideas about Battleborn, I'm glad they didn't buy it. And I love that game. I can't tell you how much I love that game. I've played that game so much. I, I love that game. But I'm glad they didn't buy it. I'm glad Gearbox didn't get rewarded for their bullshit. Beyond milking the fan base, the hardcore fans who gave in to their fucking tactics. I'm glad that they didn't get fucked, you know. I'm glad that even now when it's free to play, you know, it's still pretty fun not played. I'm glad that they decided to call it a free trial because they're idiots. I'm glad. Alright? Everyone who pulls bullshit like the shit that Gearbox pulled with Battleborn... All right, the shit that fucking acty fucking bunge pulls with fucking destiny. All right, this sort of shit. No, dude, no. All right, no, you don't take content away from me that I own. All right, you don't trick me into being a fucking early access for the development of your game so that you can fix it. And I had that in quotations because activating hacky MMO tactics, free-to-play MMO tactics, does not equal fixing your game. Right? That's lazy. That means everyone who worked on Destiny, the inspiration in that game, is gone. Maybe they hired more people and maybe they got some talent for Destiny 2. I don't care. The fact remains that Destiny 1 never hurt. Like Battleborn. Destiny 1 never hurt like any other game, dude. Never hurt. It only ever made more and more money off the microtransactions, more and more money off the fucking, you know, updates, updates, updates that you have to pay. Here, buy more light levels. Buy more light levels. Right? The raids, like I said, 
or where the inspiration was and i'd like to see how long they have the raids that staten and the rest of the people built because i still call bullshit on anyone currently working at bungie i have no faith in those people anyway that's th this is the that's the question long as shit trail apologies for the ramble but i think it's an important question i think it's something we need to ask ourselves is as a community are we going to support games that are there to serve the loot are we going to support loot that's there to support the game right make the loot matter make me give a shit when i get it don't make it just pretty colors and you know just so i can get my fucker to dirt and scared get to fucking look at your store and buy your fucking sterling silver boxes so i can open those and oh 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 what i get what i get what i get Derpy derpy derpy. Innovate, Bungie. If you're fucking the developer that all your fucking defenders call you, innovate, surprise me. But I'm pretty sure I understand what Destiny 2 is going to be. It's going to be some stellar shooting and fluid mechanics in a hacky ass, free to play, MM fucking O. That's it for me, guys. Jackson, I'm out of here. If you stayed this long, you're one of my regular viewers. Everyone else is gone long ago with a down click and a fuck you. So, <laughs> I just want to say I'm going to be monetizing my videos soon. I've been hit up by a lot of different of these agencies or whatever the fuck they're called. Groups on YouTube. About five of them now. So, I'm going to monetize. I'm hoping I can get maybe a little video game money to help me fucking, you know, maybe get some new games. Talk shit on some new games. See what some new games are about. And, but I promise I'm never going to buy Destiny 2. I'm not even. I'm going to play the beta and that'll be enough. Like, I promise there will be enough revealed in the beta that I'll be able to tell you for certain that that is a hacky ass MMO. Guaranteed. The hacky ass MMO. Free to play. Free to play. Free to play. Pay us all of your dollars. <laughs> There's this running joke I have with my little brother, Chris, where I tell him you gotta buy me a griffin mount whenever I'm playing a free-to-play game, because it never went where there was a griffin mount that you had to get in these boxes, and like, the keys were ridiculous, and I was like, dude, you'd have to be a fucking millionaire to get a griffin mount, and I was like, someday we're gonna be rich, bro, and I'm gonna fucking buy a griffin mount, and so now I'm always broke, so I'm like, Chris, buy me a fucking griffin mount. <laughs> Anyway, this is the fucking Griffin Mount story that has nothing to do. Anyway, I'm going to fucking monetize so maybe I can get a Griffin Mount. There you go. <laughs> fucking love you guys. We'll talk to you next time. Stay safe. Stay awesome. And uh, don't stop believing. It's fucking awful. <laughs> talk to you guys later.